Commvault uses logic to determine the optimum transport mode for virtual server agent backups. However, it may be necessary to force the use of a specific transport mode. Here's how to set this with details of the available transport modes. The transport mode is set in the VM group setting in Command Center or sub-client properties in the Comcell console. By default, this is set to Auto and the software uses logic to determine the best transport mode for backup based on the type and location of virtual machines, storage infrastructure and type and location of virtual server agent proxies or access nodes. In some circumstances, you may wish to overrule this automatic selection and hard code a transport mode to the VM group or sub-client configuration. In most scenarios, Auto will pick the optimal transport mode, but you may need to change this to enhance backup or restore performance or based on specific environmental requirements. Selecting the drop-down menu next to Auto will show the available transport modes, each with very different characteristics, requirements and use cases. Starting with MBD and MBD SSL, these modes should serve as a fallback when other transport modes are not available. As these are network-based, they will offer the slowest backup performance. However, MBD provides the fastest method of restoring thin provision disks. MBD SSL is similar to MBD mode, but data transfer between the proxy computer and the ESX server is encrypted. SAN mode is for when SAN storage is connected to the ESX host. The virtual server agent proxy or access node must have access to the data store LUNs that provide storage for virtual machine disks. Data is read directly from the storage where virtual machines reside without going through the ESX host or transferring data over the network. SAN mode offers the best performance of all transport modes. SAN mode should be used when the host data stores are on fiber channel or iSCSI storage and when the virtual server agent is a physical server with direct access to the data store LUNs. NAS Transport is similar to SAN and allows the virtual server agent proxy computer to read directly from the network file server without going through an ESX host or transferring data over the local area network. You can only use the NAS Transport mode on Windows and Linux physical computers and Linux virtual machines. If the proxy is hosted on a Windows virtual machine, you should use hot add or MBD mode configuration on the deployed proxy. VSA proxies must have access to the NFS exports from the NFS server. The proxy machine must have access to the NFS ports for the destination NFS server behind any firewall configuration. With hot add transport mode, virtual disks from the virtual machines being backed up are automatically mounted to the proxy so they can be accessed by the proxy as local disks. Hot add mode can achieve close to SAN mode performance. When using the hot add transport mode, the virtual server agent proxy must be virtualized. The ESX host the proxy is running on must have access to all the data stores for the virtual machine. If the virtual machine and the proxy are not on the same host, all data stores must be shared between the hosts and the host must be within the same data center. The media agent component can be virtualized or physical when using hot add. Hot add mode relies heavily on the SCSI protocol, which comes with its own requirements. Hot add mode does not support IDE disks. Disks to be protected are attached to the SCSI controller of the proxy server. For VMware 6.5 or later, VMware recommends using the Paravirtual SCSI controller. For older versions, use the LSI controller. A single SCSI controller can have up to 15 disks attached. If you run concurrent backup jobs that include more than 15 disks, you might need to add SCSI controllers to the VSA proxy that is responsible for hot adding disks. Having insufficient SCSI device nodes can cause delays for backup or backup copy operations. To ensure that enough SCSI device nodes are available, the best option is to load balance backups across multiple VSA proxies. If the backup operation for a disk cannot reserve a SCSI device node, one of the following events occurs. If the transport mode is specified as hot add, the backup job will fail. If the transport mode is specified as auto, the backup job will switch to MBD mode for the remaining disks. The ability to automatically fall back to the MBD mode in situations where there are not enough SCSI device nodes or another requirement has not been met is the reason why automatic transport mode selection is the default option and you should only force the use of a specific transport mode when this is absolutely required. For more help topics like this, check out kb.convault.com.